Okay, so example 11, we are going to be solving a quadratic equation by completing square. Okay, so the specific method here will be complete square. Okay, I will show you two ways of doing. Then you see which is the one that you prefer. Okay, so what I'm going to show, right? So I'm going to show this step first. Okay, so uh, but when we are doing complete square, you actually got to make sure this part. This is a very, very important part. You got to make sure that the coefficient is x of x square is 1. That means you got to make sure that it, it, it is 1x square. If it's not 1x square, you actually got to divide throughout by the number. So later on, I will be showing you in part B. So what if it's not 1x squared? Okay, so for part A, it's already 1a, uh, uh, 1x squared, so that's fine. So let me show you the steps, okay? And then see what which, which uh, method that you prefer. So uh, in this, the first method that I'm going to show you, it is still complete square. It's just that there are two ways of doing it. So for the first method, okay, the question, the step, says that you move the constant to the right-hand side. So the minus 5 will be shifted to the right-hand side. The second step, we are adding the b over 2. So we are adding the coefficient of x over 2 with a square. So I'm going to be adding. So for the second step, I'm going to be doing this. The coefficient is 6. So I'm going to add something on both sides. I'm going to add something on both sides. Okay, so like an equation format. Like we always add, if I want to add something on the left, I got to balance it on the right. Okay, so once I do this, this is the previous example it will actually create a perfect square. And this part, you can punch calculator. You will get a 14. Then from there, you get a perfect square where you can take double, you can take a, the double square root. So x plus three can be the positive square root or the x plus 3 can be the negative square root. So from there, you find your x. Okay, so I'm going to leave it in 2dp. I think the question says 2dp. So this is still, this is complete square, but you add the coefficient of x over two square on both sides. Okay, another way will be this. Another way will be you don't shift the number over, you do the same complete square. You do the plus minus, uh, sorry, I copy only. So you do the plus six over two square minus six over two square. So you insert a zero. Do you realize it's actually a zero? So you insert the the um the b over two square. You insert the b over two square and you subtract the b over two square. So same thing. This will be the perfect square. 
and this part you will bunch calculator. So you are going to get the same thing. So it's exactly the same thing. Okay, nothing changes. You will actually get the same answer. So which method do you prefer? Do you prefer doing it? Like move the number over first? Or do you prefer the second method? Okay, so uh, my suggestion is right. You must be flexible in both methods. Okay, both methods are the same. It leads you to the same answer. Okay, so both are considered complex square. Mm, okay, so just now I emphasize that we can only be doing the complex square when the coefficient of x square is 1. But if you look at part b, if you look at part b, right, the coefficient is not 1. So what you can do is you divide everything by 2 first. So 2x squared divided by 2, minus 6x divided by 2, and then uh, 3 also divided by 2. So from here, you are going to add. Minus 3 over 2 on both sides. Okay, the coefficient of x is minus 3. So you add that on both sides, it will create the perfect square. And this part, you will just punch calculator. Then you do your double square roots. So there are two answers for x minus 1.5. Okay, go and punch calculator. Shift over that 1.5. Okay, go and punch calculator. Okay, so you divide by two, then you can do something like this. So in the same way, right, actually for this question, I can do the same like the, the, the second method. But even if I want to do it as the second method, I still need to divide by Two. I need to get rid of the coefficient of x squared. So I divide by 2. Then you need to bring over. So after that, you will do the same thing. You insert the coefficient of x divided by 2 squared. Okay, and you subtract away what you insert. So essentially, whatever you are inserting is a zero. Okay, whatever that you are inserting is a zero, but it helps to create a perfect square. It helps to create a perfect square. And then the same thing, you punch calculator, you get a minus 3.71. And then you follow. So you will match exactly. And then you follow everything from there on. So everything else will be the same here. So it's a matter of how you get the complete square. So do you prefer to add on both sides or do you prefer to add then subtract only on the left side? So 
which one do you prefer? Okay, take to something that you prefer. A, but sometimes the question can be asking for this. So later on, there will be an example that actually uh, ask you for, for that portion. Okay, so this is something that we require a lot of practice. 